Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina Marie or Marie J here on YouTube. And today I have this sexy, sultry, smoky eye for you guys. I actually got my inspiration from Pinterest and all I saw was this warm, smoky eye and I was in love. I had to try it for myself. I think this makeup look is perfect for a date night or for a girl's night out. Also, it is fall time, so it's a perfect fall makeup look as well. And I paired it with a nude lip because I didn't want to take away from the eyes. I have a lot going on there and I want it to be the main focus. I just thought that the nude would go perfectly with the transition shade that I placed in my crease. So if you would like to see how I achieved this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So first off, I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm using this as an eye base to erase any redness and veins. To set that in place, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To start off the look, I'm using Salted Caramel from the Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm using that as my crease color and slowly building that up with a blending brush. And using Semi Sweet from that same palette, I'm applying that right underneath the crease color that I just put because of course I want the transition shade to be seen. So I'm applying that right underneath and then diffusing any harsh lines with a different fluffy blending brush. Then using Triple Fudge, this is a dark, rich brown. I'm using that on the outer half of my eye. And using it the same blending brush that I used in the beginning, I'm blending that into all the other colors. To achieve the smoky black lid, I am using Blackout from the Naked 2 palette. And as you can see, this is very pigmented, so I'm not putting it all over my lid. I am putting it in the center. And in a few seconds, you will see that I go in with a blending brush to blend that in with all three shades that I applied previously. To sharpen up the eyeshadow, I'm just using a makeup wipe to clean it up and to clean up any fallout, of course. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm using Half Baked from the Naked 2 palette. To prime my face, I used the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur and applied that anywhere where I have big pores. And then I used the Ulta Matte Primer around the perimeter of my face. Off camera, I applied these Christina 217 lashes, and for my mascara, I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. For foundation, I am using the L'Oreal True Match because this is a little bit more on the dewy side, and I didn't want my face to be too matte because I already have a lot of matte eyeshadow going on, so. I wanted my face to be a little bit more on the dewy side. And to blend all of that in, I'm using my Real Techniques makeup sponge. Again, using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm using that to conceal and highlight underneath my eyes around my chin area and my forehead as well. And to blend that all in, I'm using my Morphe G2 brush, which is my current favorite brush for concealer. Of course, my trusty Ben Nye Banana Powder to set my concealer in place. This literally keeps my concealer on lock all day long. Mm -hmm. 
Once that has set for a few minutes, I'm wiping off any excess with a small brush. To bronze up my face, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun and this big angled brush from Morphe. Then to bronze up my forehead, I'm using a smaller contour brush and bronzing up my forehead. To add some dimension back into my nose, I'm using this blending brush and the same MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I don't want my nose to disappear when I take pictures, so I'm using this to kind of just add some color back into it. Before applying my lipstick, I'm just going to wipe off any foundation that I may have on my lips. And for my lips, I'm using the Milani Spice Lip Liner. Just to outline my lips, I'm not going to fill them all the way in and I'm not overdrawing them either. Then over top, I'm using the NYX Abu Dhabi Matte Lip Cream. And just applying some mascara to my lower lash line. For my highlight, I'm using an e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Enchanted and applying that on the highest points of my cheeks and on my nose as well. Once I set everything in place, the makeup look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video. Ever since I left the city, you Today we going shopping up 30